Hello and welcome to VOP Business Show. I'm Kayla Abraham. Now, a U.S. multinational financial services firm, J.P. Morgan, on Wednesday, that the Naira will trade at 850 Naira per dollar at the investors and exporters forex window before the end of 2023. However, the U.S. Well, stated that the recent efforts to restore a flexible FX regime may be sustained given the willingness to accompany it with tighter monetary conditions. In addition to the policy actions, Morgan averred that authorities may need to consider further measures such as requiring commercial banks to adhere to regulatory limits on FX net open positions. Other, me other measures. As Morgan stated, include exploring the introduction of a cash reserve ratio on FX deposits, as well as the issuance of dollar assets on onshore. On the fiscal side, the financial firm advised that the gov advised the government to require all taxes to be paid in local currency. Now, Nigerians foreign debt had to rise farther to about $51 billion following President Bola Tinubu's request to the Senate seeking approval to borrow additional $7.8 billion and million dollars as part of his 2022 to 2024 borrowing plan. Some financial analysts have debunked the official reason in borrowing, claiming it was rather meant as a bridging loan to cushion the country's current balance of payment crisis. Nigeria's foreign debt as of June 2020 was put at $43.2 billion, while domestic debt is put at 54.1 trillion naira, bringing public debt to 1.113.4. With a presidential request for new borrowing, coupled with the depreciation of the Naira, the total public debt is forecast to reach 130 trillion Naira. The president, in a letter addressed yesterday, explained that the request was anchored on an approval given by President, former President, President Muhammad Buhari led administration after the Executive Council FEC meeting early in May 2023. Now, the federal government on Wednesday met with operators of the refineries in a bid to address concerns about the unavailability of crude oil for indigenous refiners. It specifically stated that it is going to be a matter of national shame if, if, if domestic crude oil cannot be domestic crude oil obligations cannot be met to step up our to step up refinery capacity. Also stressing that 650,000 barrels per day, Dangote refinery was ready and should be provided with crude. Benga Komolafe, the chief executive of Nigerian Australian Regulatory Commission, an agency of the federal government, disclosed this in Abuja during the meeting with operators of domestic refineries. And finally, the Naira exchanged at 1,185 Naira per dollar at the parallel market as liquidity challenge persisted. Uh, well, this was according to some bureau the change operators. Some BDC operators stated further that there was a slant from 1,190 Naira per dollar traded on Tuesday as the local currency was yet to gain its true value. Last week, the Naira hit a high of 1,300 Naira per dollar on Tuesday before closing at the market at 1,150 Naira per dollar at the parallel market on Friday. The Association of Bureau the Change Operators noted the recent gains and gave suggestions on sustaining the gain. And that is it on VOP Business and VOP TV. Do subscribe and engage us on our YouTube. It is Voice Other People TV and on all the social media channels at VOP TV Live. I'm Kayla. Thanks for watching.